Hi, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel. So today is two days before I go to a dance competition with my dance club at uni and we have some costumes that aren't finished slash I haven't started yet. So in this video you get to watch me try and make 17 costumes in just a day. <laughs> Hopefully I finish it today. If not, I can still do some tomorrow because I think I still have time. But we are waking up early on Sunday so don't really want to be doing costumes the night before like last year. So what I have to make is 17 skirts in total. Eight is for the advanced ballet competition and that's just a full black chiffon skirt on some elastic. And then for my advanced contemporary piece, I'm sewing some of the fabric onto shorts we already have and it's gonna be like an open chiffon skirt kind of thing. And for that piece, there's nine skirts I have to make. I sort of have an idea of how to make them. I mean, it's just a skirt, so you're just attaching a rectangle piece of chiffon fabric onto either the elastics or the shorts. So if you are planning on making a skirt for ballet or any dance, don't do what I did because the skirts ended up so dodgy. Like, I don't know how everyone was okay with wearing them. I think it was because it was the only like costume that we had for ballet and I was like so confident being like yeah I can make a skirt but no like when we were competing with them I was like oh they look so dodgy. It just <laughs> it didn't look right so if you are making a skirt don't cut out a rectangle. Cut out a circle which is like the normal way to make a skirt. I think I just didn't do that way because I didn't have enough fabric but yeah don't cut out a rectangle. Cut out a circle and the skirt will actually look good and flow nicely. <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard. I feel like I'm just gonna complicate it for myself. But enough talking about making the costumes. Let's actually make the costumes. So here's the fabric. Um, it's, as you can see, black. And it's called Power Mesh. It's basically, oh, It's basically stretchy fabric that flows like chiffon. I don't really know. I just typed up stretchy, flowy fabric and this is what came up. So I'm going to cut up some rectangles measuring to my body because most of the dancers are sort of my height. And that will be the main portion of the skirts because this material is for the skirts. Anyway, I'm just rambling on right now. Let's just get on to it. So I googled what the waist measurements are for size 8 and it said it was 26 inches. So I'm going to measure and cut out 26 inches for the elastics and then sew the ends together at half an inch so that when it's on the waist it is nice and snug. Okay, so I've moved downstairs to the living room where there's an actual table because I was going to cut the fabric on my bed, which I did last year, and I might have cut my duvet cover, so I don't really want to do that again this year. So after doing a bunch of trial and testing with just like wrapping the fabric around myself and looking at myself in the mirror, I'm going to cut the length of the skirt at 36 inches and have one or half an inch for seam allowance, and then for the measurements for the length of like this bit, so the width, I'm just going to keep the size that the fabric is at right now because I really don't know what the measurements would be. So let's cut the fabric now and then head back upstairs to try and make one full skirt. And then if that goes well, I'm just gonna do that again seven more times and then we'll go into the contemporary costume. <laughs> this isn't even straight. I'm just gonna cut in between this and this. Let's hope this works. But obviously cutting it will work, I mean as in like the length of the skirt. This doesn't look right. It looks a little short. Um, let's go back upstairs. So I think the last thing that I filmed was me trying to sew the mesh fabric into a tube and I was having a lot of trouble with that in the sewing machine. Initially I was doing like a zigzag stitch on the mesh and then I realized it was actually getting caught underneath. So I put some paper underneath the mesh as it was going through the sewing machine. So the moving things underneath the needle would like push the fabric and the paper together. And also I changed it into a normal straight stitch. I tried it on just now, it looks okay. The stitches where it makes the fabric into a tube kinda makes the skirt look a bit weird at the back, but it'll be at the back so it's okay. And also we'll be dancing so it'll be like flowing around. So that's one successful skirt out of eight. So I'm gonna try and finish maybe one or two more before I have to go into uni for some rehearsals tonight. It's going really slowly, but at least now I know like what I have to do for the ballet skirts. But yeah, sorry I didn't film me attaching the skirt to the elastics because I was just 
trying to figure it all out and I feel like if I was filming at the same time I would have made more mistakes but I'll update you when I have to go into uni for rehearsals tonight so update I'm on my third skirt right now and the needle broke <laughs> The thread I was using as well was really thin, so it just kept breaking and I got really frustrated. And I saw that the needle wasn't going up and down, it was going sideways, like diagonally, so I kind of saw it coming. But I just was like, I need to get this finished, so <laughs> the needle broke. So I'm gonna have to replace it and then quickly finish off this third one so that I can go to rehearsal because it's time to go. But when this one is finished, I would have done three out of the eight skirts for ballet, which for the amount of time that I've used to make these three, it's quite slow and quite little, but now I kind of know what's happening and how to make them. And I've sewn all the elastics into circles, so I think that'll make it faster? I don't know. Hopefully I'll get all of ballet skirts done by tonight. One of contemporary, maybe. And then, so then I only have to do eight tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm back from dance rehearsal and somehow before I left the house I managed to make one more skirt so I've done four out of the eight ballet skirts. We tried them on during the rehearsal and I think we're going to leave a slit at the back just so we can jeté and get our legs into a split. I think I'll be able to get that done by tonight and then try and do one contemporary or maybe two. See how I get along with the ballet ones but it should be fine because now I know how long to make them. And also now there's less stitches to connect the mesh to make it into a tube because uh, I'm gonna leave a slit at the back. So yeah, onto making four more ballet skirts and then maybe start, I should probably start the contemporary costumes. Excuse how I look right now, I just took off my face makeup um, cause it's getting a bit oily. So I just left my brows and mascara for this last clip. But I managed to finish the four skirts. It's currently 12.35. So I'm not going to start any of the contemporary costumes. I might just bring in the sewing machine and the fabric and the shorts into uni tomorrow to make them during the all day rehearsal. So yeah, at least I finish all of ballet's costumes. Then I'll just have to cut it when they wear it. So if it's the person who's wearing it. And also I think I just made it a bit too long because they tried it on today in the rehearsal. And um, yeah, it was touching the floor. But yeah, I managed to do eight skirts today. Hopefully I finish all nine contemporary tomorrow. I mean, I'm gonna have to because the competition's on Sunday. <laughs> but yeah, this is all I'm doing today. I'm gonna go to sleep now. So I'm back from a whole day of rehearsals and sewing at uni. I managed to do eight out of the nine contemporary costumes, which is pretty good. So I'm just gonna finish off that last skirt, maybe trim the bottom because when we tried it on in my last extra rehearsal just now, I saw some of the hems at the bottom were kind of crooked um, probably because I was rushing cutting them so if I have the energy I'll probably cut that tonight and then also cut the ballet skirts because they want a slit at the back which I didn't do yesterday for the ones that were already done if that makes sense <laughs> but I'm gonna go downstairs finish off that last skirt and then I would have done 17 costumes in I don't know how many hours probably took longer than it should have but finish them just in time for tomorrow yay I finished all 17 costumes uh, slash skirts. <laughs> I'm so happy that I didn't have to do it literally moments before I went to bed or even the morning of which would not have been ideal. I feel like I should pack and also eat and then go to bed so I'll probably just cut the skirts when the dancers are wearing them tomorrow like just before we go on stage. So I just realized I didn't actually explain or show how I made the contemporary costumes or skirts. So I basically got the black shorts that we always wear for costumes and then cut out a big square of the mesh fabric and then attached it so that all of the fabric was towards the waistband so if this was the shorts so if these are the legs and it's facing this way all of the fabric was on this side so then I was sewing sort of like underneath the waistband so then when the shorts were upright the fabric would fold over and have a nice like little poof well it wasn't really a poofy because it's like a chiffon mesh fabric but that way the seams are hidden underneath hopefully that makes sense but I hope you enjoyed watching me try and make 17 costumes I mean I did make them they're not exactly like perfect but they look decent and like costumes that you buy online except like the really ratchet version if you want to see more content from me be sure to subscribe if you want to find me on social media all my socials are at xbethanychanx and I'll see you in my next video bye